everyone, this is Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. We're taking a look at the new HTC One, the HTC One M8. And the thing we want to focus on today is HTC Sense 6.0. This is a new version. HTC Sense 5.5 is available on the HTC One that came out last year. And HTC is going to bring this to that device as well as others, probably the HTC One Max. And we want to show you the features that are available now here and most of these are probably going to come to that other device. So one of the things I want to show you is the new motion controls. So for this to work, there has to be a little bit of motion. So we'll take the phone off the pedestal. We'll lift it up and double tap. That'll take me to my lock screen. If I turn the screen off again, lift it up, one finger swipe in from the left, I get access to blink feed, full blink feed there. And from there, if I don't have a lock pattern on, I can jump right over to my home screen. Another option, if I lift it up and swipe in from the other side, I'll go straight to my home screen. So HTC is listening, giving more ways to get right to the screen you want with these pretty intuitive gestures once you get them down. And the final one is a swipe down. And this will start voice control so you can say call someone and it will call them instead of you know having to open up the phone and go from there. So those are some of the different control options that we have right out of the box when you are have your phone locked. Oh, there's one more. Say you see something you want to take a picture of, turn the phone to the side, hold down the volume up button, that'll launch the camera quickly, and then you can use it to take pictures as well. You have to set that up. But after you set that up, you can take pictures, including a burst of photos as you just saw there. So after you get into the actual operating system, we have very similar things. We have similar icons for weather and for time. You can customize the look and feel of your home screen by changing around your location of apps, dragging them, putting them on your home screen. Folders are very similar. There's a decent amount of Verizon apps installed on this. You can have folders on your home screen. Because this is Android 4.4.2, you can pick what you want to use for messages, whether you want to use Verizon, Google Hangouts, basically any approved messaging app. A swipe from the left will take you to your blink feed that you can customize and if you swipe one more time you can pull this up and open up your settings and we can add content, services, apps and go into our settings. If we want to choose content you can pick from a variety of different sources and or drill down into topics and things like that. So you can really customize Blinkfeed and make it your own. You can link up Twitter, Facebook, other services like that. And as you use the camera to take HTC Zoe's, those will show up there as well. Again, your folders here offer you quick access to things on the home screen. You have access to Google Now. A swipe up will show you your Google Now, which pulls in all the stuff from your other Google searches. Now if you pull down from the top, you'll get notifications that you can expand or get rid of. The swipe, we'll swipe that one out of the way. And you can tap up here in the upper right, and here we get a list of different things that we can tap on to change settings or uh, use. We have Do Not Disturb, we can turn on our hotspot right from here. If you happen to own an HTC Mini Plus, which is a small candy bar size phone, you can grab that and use that as a Bluetooth type headset. Um, you can customize these. If you tap this little icon right here, you can grab any that you don't want. Say I don't want this HTC Mini Plus. I can grab that, drop it down here, and if there's one that I want from down here, say my screen timeout, I can pull that up and you can even reorder them up here if there's different things that you would rather have towards the top of the screen or grouped together. So you can customize that. That's 
quite nice. And I might not have hit save there so it didn't update, but you can you can do that and hit done after you've made that change. And that will update. From there you can drop right into your settings. Pretty standard settings. Um, we can see our various connections, we can look at tethering, data usage, boom sound is on. Uh, so when we use our internal speakers, we have two front facing speakers that really push the sound right out at us. We can personalize the phone, we change our home screen, lock screen, there's even themes. So if we go in here, we can see different themes and they'll kind of change with you as you use the phone. So we'll change that theme. You'll notice it changes the top. It changes this bar down here. And the top color will change based on the app you're in. Kind of reminds me of uh, iOS in that different things kind of meld together a little nicer. So that's a, a nice feature there. Jump back into settings real fast. You see it even carries over throughout. So you can really, you know, if you have a special color that you like, you can pull that in there. There are your other options under personalize, your ringtones, notifications. In power, we can check out our battery usage. Looks like there's not a power saver mode option in there. A lot of different settings you can, if you're coming in for another phone, you can pull in your contacts from a, a different phone, change a variety of things, check for software updates. If we go to about, and software, we can see that we're on Android 4.4.2 and we're on Sense 6. That's our quick look inside Sense 6 on the new HTC One. You can head over to gottabemobile.com, check out more about this. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. We're gonna be showing how the camera works and we're also going to be doing a hardware tour and a bunch of comparisons in the coming days. Thanks for watching.